Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new video dedicated to the world of aviation. In the heart of 1980s cinematic thrills, where action met the skies, Blue Thunder emerged as a pulse-pounding American action thriller. Directed by John Batham and produced by Gordon Carroll, Phil Feldman, and Andrew Fogelson, this film took audiences on a high-flying adventure, introducing them to the futuristic world of technologically advanced helicopters. Behind the scenes, designer Mickey Michaels took on the challenge of creating the iconic helicopters that would dominate the screen. Rejecting existing designs, Michaels turned to French-built Aerospatial SA-341G gazelles. Two of these helicopters, serial numbers 1066 and 1075, were chosen for their transformation into Blue Thunder. Purchased for $190,000 each, the gazelles were flown to Cinema Air in Carlsbad, California. Here, they underwent extensive modifications, bolt-on parts, Apache-style canopies, turning them into the sleek, high-tech machines we know as Blue Thunder. The modifications came at a cost. These helicopters became so heavy that creative filmmaking tricks were employed to maintain the illusion of speed and agility on the screen. After the final scene wrapped, both helicopters found a new owner, aviation salvage collector Michael E. Grube in Clovis, New Mexico. One of these helicopters had a second life, appearing in the pilot episode of MacGyver in 1985. Transformed with a different paint job and modifications, it continued its on-screen journey. Grube leased serial number 1066 to a film company Shooting America, an ABC television miniseries depicting a Soviet occupation of the United States. The helicopters were repainted, outfitted with missile launchers, and played a crucial role in the series. However, the tales of 1066 and 1075 took different turns. 1066, after its stint in America, was dismantled and sold for parts. On the other hand, 1075 met its end in 1988, scrapped and gone from the cinematic skies. A third static display model, created for close-up shots with actors, once stood proudly. Over time, it deteriorated and eventually disappeared, leaving only memories of Blue Thunder's impressive legacy. Today, the bolt-on cockpit of the original Blue Thunder helicopter serves as a silent witness to the thrilling adventures it undertook on the backlot tour of MGM Studios in Florida.